gentlemen, before we begin with our discussion, I would like to apologize because I will not be with you this morning. Pero I prepared this video for me to explain to you kung ano mga gagawin natin today. And I do hope that you're uh, able to do the task that will be assigned to you para nang sa gayon hindi masayang ang ating mga oras starting this week because I know you are all scheduled to have your long test and you're preparing and studying for them. So, sana ay gamitin ng tama ang oras. Okay? So, for today's um, discussion, actually hindi siya discussion, but I am here to inform you about your performance task for this term. As early as now, simulan na natin ang preparation. For some sections, I was able to present the whole performance task Pero karamihan sa inyo ay hindi pa nauunawaan or hindi ko pa nababanggit ang nilalaman ng ating performance task. So, as you all know, our topic for this term is all about the importance of studying contemporary issues and it's divided into two major topics and that is environmental issues and economic issues. Tapos na tayo sa, sa environmental issues kaya naman meron kayong midterm exam on Thursday. But I will upload 7.40 in the morning and you are all expected to submit them by 5 o'clock. Pero katulad ng sinabi ko, I do hope na matapos siya ng maaga at mapasa siya ng maaga para hindi magpatong-patong ang inyong mga trabaho. Now, going back to our performance task. At the end of this term, you are expected no, to understand that all citizens and its government play a very important role in addressing environmental and social issues and even economic issues in order for us to achieve national development. Kung kaya naman, in this particular performance task for the term, your, your goal is to be able to present a sustainable plan in response to the environmental and economic issues that affect achieving, that affects our achievement of the national development. So let me read to you the situation of the performance task. The Institute for Solidarity in Asia is having a symposium or a seminar on national development. It aims to raise awareness on how different agents of society can contribute to the, goal, to the goals of the government in achieving sustainable development in our country. You, being a vlogger, a videographer, and a news reporter are invited to present your advocacy and share your ideas that will show the current state of the country's environment and economy. Your presentation must also include your alternative solution or solutions to these issues that you will present. Members of the different civic groups, local government units, and even non-government organizations will be attending this conference and will be the audience of your presentation. Your presentation, gentlemen, will be um, effective if you will consider the following criteria. One is subject knowledge or content. Dapat evident and thorough ang inyong um, pag explain ng laman ng inyong discussion. All informations are clear, appropriate, and correct. The next criteria is organization. The project or your proposal should have a sequence of information that is logical and uh, clear. The way you present it, that you really have a clear understanding of your topic. Kaya titignan natin how you organize your ideas. And number three is originality. Dahil merong tatlong role at tatlong klase ng product ang available na pwede niyong pagpilian, I need to see your creativity and originality. So the project or the performance task should show significant evidence of originality and um, inventiveness. So you have to surprise me. As I mentioned every time in our class, alam ko yung kakayahan ng section ninyo. So please surprise me with the kind of content that you will submit for this project. That will also uh, bring you to the last criteria and that is your technical creativity. So... Importante dito, ano yung mga tool na gagamitin ninyo? Meron ba kayong mga errors sa messages na gagamitin ninyo? Yung sound, yung video, no? yung mga files na ginamit, kailangan ay mabasa ng aking computer or makita ko agad. There is another way of submitting your work aside from just putting it in the 
the Google Classroom. You can also upload this in your personal YouTube account if you have one, katulad ni Mr. Incabo. Pero kung wala naman, all you need to do is to send it through the link that I will be preparing for this particular performance task bago matapos ang term 1. As early as now, gentlemen, I would like to remind you to start preparing for this para hindi kayo mahirapan sa mga susunod na mga araw. Start preparing for this period. I want you to think, conceptualize kung ano ang issue na pwede nyo or gusto nyo maging focus. I need you to come up with at least three issues, environmental or economic, na sa tingin ninyo gusto nyo sanang masolve bilang isang um, estudyante or bilang isang advocate ng pagbabago sa ating lipunan. So, it can be um, about pollution, solid waste management, climate change, things like that. Pwede din unemployment, for example. Kung gusto nyong ipasok ang halimbawa ang uh, issue ng sweldo ng mga manggagawa okay, or ang dinulot ng pandemya na to sa ating ekonomiya Anything under the sun, basta tungkol sa environment at sa ating ekonomiya. You have the freedom to choose anong medium ang gagamitin at kung paano nyo i-deliver ang result. Basta ang importante, ipakita ano ang problema ang gusto nyo talakayin. Ano ang mga causes and effect ng problema ito. And the third one is, either you criticize an existing policy na sumasagot sa problema ito or you can even suggest a new way in resolving this problem. Once again, gentlemen, I'm putting all my trust in you. Surprise me in this performance task and I'm super, super excited to see the result. Okay? Maraming maraming salamat and just like what we always say, <laughs> stay home, stay safe, study hard. God bless everyone. Thank you guys and I'll see you very, very soon. Good luck to your midterm exam on Thursday. Bye everyone. <laughs>